has, uh, has Iman been the last couple of days, and what do you think about him for uh, tomorrow? Uh, no, Iman's looked. He look. He's looked good. I mean, he's he's done a lot, even though he hasn't been playing or participating in 100 percent of practice over uh, the last several days. He's still been doing quite a bit of work. So uh, it's not as though he's behind, really. It's just you know some of the scrimmaging and things that he hasn't done in the past. But the last couple of days, he's looked really good, and I mean, we expect him to be available tomorrow. And we'll see how he kind of responded today. You know, when he shows up tomorrow, we'll see how he feels, but he should be good. Same uh, starting lineup? Same. No, we'll see. We'll we'll talk about it this evening, you know, with the coaches, and, and we'll kind of make a decision, you know, what we want to do with the lineup. You know, we still view this as a great opportunity to figure out some things in terms of which guys work well together and, you know, how to kind of put five guys out on the floor that can get us off to a, a good start. That's, that's really key. Uh, in this league is, is really setting the tone from the beginning. And uh, you know, we want to make sure we, when we do have our final starting lineup, uh, when, when opening night comes, that uh, it's the right choices. You expect everybody to be available tomorrow? I do. Um, I do expect everyone to be available. Everyone was in today. You know, Jason's out uh, with his family. But uh, everybody else was in and participated today. Uh, so everyone should be available. To us tomorrow night, you know, barring any type of you know flare-ups this evening, including Jason. I'm not sure. Uh, you know, I, I, we're we're making sure that we respect, uh, you know, his family and and the baby and his wife, and making sure that everybody's good and there are no issues there. And so, um, you know, we're, we're we're not in a rush to to have Jason come back. Uh, you know, having a baby is more important than a preseason practice or two. But he'll be back with us as soon as possible, and, and probably tomorrow. But you know, we just won't know for sure until then. I know, uh, you know, everybody knows this isn't going to happen overnight with the offense. But mm -hmm. What do what do you want to see, like specifically, game two from game one? That, that's a little different. Yeah, just uh, progress. I think you know, a few less turnovers. Um, you know, another guy or two looking like they're starting to kind of figure out some things and. You know, understanding positions, but it, it, it's tough early in the preseason because you're, you're playing a lot of guys. You're not, you know, using your normal rotations. You have guys on the floor that aren't used to working together. Uh, so it'll it'll still, you know, look disjointed at times. But we just want to see progress. It's, it's not the score necessarily, just you know, details and uh, being in the right spots, and, and things will start to work from there. More importantly, is also defensively. You know, looking like we're starting to understand better, um, you know, how to accomplish what we want to accomplish on the defensive end. What would you like to be able to impact Shane? I mean, obviously the guy's so fast and everything, but as a former point guard, I mean, is there something you'd like to be able to help him with specifically? I mean, Shane has all the the tools, you know, necessary to be successful in this league. Uh, solid character. You know, he can shoot the basketball. He's speed. Uh, he defends. So, you know, we're excited to have him in terms of, you know, me trying to offer him anything. It's just, you know, understanding the, the highs and lows of the game uh, and, and how there are always adversities and setbacks and things that will present themselves that, you know, you just continue to find a way to come to work every day with, uh, you know, with a first day on the job type attitude and then work your way through it. But he'll be fine. I mean, he's, he's been great so far. and uh, I think he's going to help us this year. Can you envision playing multiple point guards together at some point with him, Pablo, and Jose, or play two of them at the same time? We'll see. I mean, we, you know, we, we have a lot of guard depth, uh, so it, it may not be necessary to do it, but I think we have the option. Uh, you know, the beauty of, of the system is that, you know, all the parts are interchangeable, and, you know, we have a number of lineups that we can put out on the floor depending on the situation. And so, you know, most days in practice, you know, everybody works on the skills necessary to play all the spots. Um, you know, primarily the centers are probably most limited, but, uh, you know, guards and wings and forwards generally, uh, you know, get enough skill work to be able to do a little bit of everything. And, you know, we, we do have that luxury though.